Alright, this is a quick video tutorial on how to create a camera for your animation scene. Uh, so for this specific one, I want to make a front camera and a side camera. Uh, what you can do is you can do my usual traditional method. Um, uh, but you know what, I'm actually going to show you that method as well, just in case you need to, to know. So first thing I want to do is before I get too excited about uh, making my camera is I want to create the camera first before making any alterations to it. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and click on create cameras, click on camera. As you can see, our camera is facing towards the front view. So if I were to go to panels, I believe it's look through selected. I can see the camera is looking at the front view. Now, um, I want to see what is actually in the camera. So, I mean, is this what I see? I, I can't tell. To be able to tell, all you have to do is click on film gate, and I'm gonna press the space bar so it's easier for me to um, kind of see this. I'm going to zoom this in, and now I can see that my camera, actually, it's just it's easier to do this sometimes. Uh, I'm just gonna drag this over like this. And uh, now I can see exactly what is in my camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom out like so. And this is a pretty good camera view, I would say. Uh, this is really good. I like this because if someone puts notes, they can put it above the head or below the feet. Um, and it's much, much easier to give notes this way. So um, now that I have that camera, I'm going to rename this camera front cam name it whatever you want whatever is convenient uh, now that I have that camera set I definitely don't want to accidentally move this camera so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to hold on. Back down, front cam. perfect and now that I have uh, about where I want it I'm going to go into my channel box here and I'm going to freeze all of this uh, I'm going to freeze it Freeze all. Uh, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock select it. So no matter what, I cannot move this camera. I cannot move it. If I do for whatever reason want to move it, all I have to do is click in the outliner, find my front camera, click on it, go to the channel box, and all I have to do is select and unlock and then you can move it if you want okay so now that that's done let me go ahead and uh lock that again really quick i have this one set uh i want another camera for the side view because that's how generally speaking i like to get feedback on my blocking animations so let me go ahead and do a left view let me create a brand new camera let me create a camera here now, uh, obviously, as you can tell, the camera is not in the direction that I want it to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate this in the direction that I want. Even easier, if you want to, you can just go into the channel box and click 90 degrees on the Y axis. So now, when I go to perspective view, I'm going to, uh, let's see, I'm actually gonna kick this in the opposite direction. So rather than uh, 90, I'm going to do negative 90. Perfect. That's the direction I want. I'm going to kick that back, lift it up. And now when I look through selected, perfect. Now I can see exactly what I want to. Uh, but again, I don't know exactly what's in my camera. So if I click on this, uh, let's again, click this window back. Perfect. Okay. So this is obviously not what I want. So what I am going to do is, I'm going to um, get my scene or my composition in a place where I can look at it. And this looks pretty good to me. So uh, I'm going to again rename this camera side camera. So you can name it whatever you want as long as you remember so side cam. Now that I have my camera set up, uh, I definitely want to freeze this again really quick. Freeze all. Uh, let's see, lock selected. 
So now I cannot move this camera at all. I will always have this camera set up for my phone. Now that I have that, now I'm going to go into rendering and set up my rendering settings. The reason I like to do it this way, again, is because if at any point in time I really did want to render this out, I could, if I wanted to, have the settings already set up. Uh, currently, I do not have, uh, I forget what it's called. It's a different rendering software, but I do not have that set up. Um, personally, I like rendering, <laughs> I like cheating in my render. Uh, I like to render with the play blast, but I like having this set up just in case I do want to render this at some point in time. So the most important thing that we need to look at is uh, image format. I like to pick AVI. Uh, it can be whatever it is you want. Start frame is frame one. End frame, even though this is a cycle set at 25 frames, I only want to render the frames that will not be duplicated. And that is one through 24. If I were to do frames one through 25, I would have a duplicate on my cycle and it's gonna make my animation a little weird. So I only wanna animate one frame, I'm sorry, I only want to render one frame less than the cycle. So instead of 25, I'm saying 24. Now, renderable camera. I don't want uh, the perspective camera. Uh, what I want is the camera that I have set up side camera and then for my size i'm going to pick 720. Um, i highly recommend 720 if you want to keep your file sizes small if you want to get um, maybe some more professional feedback maybe 1080 would be a better choice okay so now that i have that set i'm going to go to my animation tab uh, i'm going to click play blast you can also right click in the timeline and click on play blast. The box is what you want to select. Uh, again, I'm just used to this way. <laughs> so I'm just going to select the box here. Uh, perfect. So now that I'm here, I want to select start to end. I'm going to click on 24 frames, just like I mentioned earlier. My file format for me is going to be AVI. Encoding, I don't have to worry about that. Quality, I'm going to set it to 100. If your file size is too big, I recommend no less than 60, and that'll keep your file size down. Uh, if your file size is still too big as an AVI format, please, please, please put that AVI format into a MP4 converter, and it'll make your file size even smaller. Size should always be one. Uh, if it's anything other than one, please, please, please make sure it is one. Frame padding uh, it hasn't really made any significant differences for me. Also, you want to remove temporary files and save to file. You want to make sure that you put your file in the exact place you want. So let me find where I want to put it. Um, let's go to my files, spring 2022. Uh, I'm going to click on uh, walk cycle and I'm going to create a brand new folder for my play blast. So I'm just going to call this play blast. Click on that. Remember our naming conventions, first and last name, name of the assignment, walk cycle. And then last but not least, the iteration, which is 001. Okay, save that. And all you have to do is play blast. And an automatic video should come up. And there, that is my animation. Super, super simple and uh, easy to do. Uh, obviously, I would do this with the front camera, but I feel like you have the gist of it. And this is a quick tutorial on how to make a camera for your Play Blast animation. That's it.